first time basically on the ice other than safety check. He's going to spin the track. No dig to be found there on the outside. He'll have to run him down. Is up front. Good side-by-side -side battle for the P1 spot. Boy, it looks like even a little touch and we're off. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. And you saw that was going to happen. Little little bad touch there all the way through the corner yeah. and into the straightaway. They were trying to fight off each other. No, neither one of them let, let out of the throttle. I wonder if they were hooked at that point. They were. They definitely got the skis hooked together on the front of it. They were trying to separate, but both of them staying on the gas. And unfortunately, you saw them get into the fence. And that is the first time. Look out there. We got an official coming out over the fence in an aggressive manner. So he kind of slipped and fell down there. But that was the first time that I can recall, as you see the drivers talking to each other on the back chute, but the first time I've ever seen a sled that far off the ground. They had some velocity for sure. Man, if these guys are okay, that is going to be a spectacular replay once we, once we get the clearance to do that. So one of them back on. Rolling that sled back up. I'm not sure which one that is. He's going to grab himself a little bit of snow and cool it down there, pull it back into paddock, go for a little safety action. I believe Olsen involved in that one on the 39. And I can't see the other one. Here we go. We're going to go actually to the... Uh Instant replay up here on the TVs. Turn your attention to the screen. So I think we got a couple angles of this that took place. So you can see the two sleds right there tight to the wall and got tangled right there. Wow. Clipped that and barrel rolled down the back shooting again. Another look at that angle. Pivoted around and... Well, yeah, it was rough and tumble right there. And here's another angle. Oh, from the my. wireless down the infield. Man, we are so fortunate nobody got run over. Absolutely. Because that was your front two spots there coming off the sled. 